welcome back to school of civil engineering this is Hedatullah with another new video in our previous videos I mean in our previous two video I have shown you that how we will design different types of retaining wall and in this video I am going to discuss about another types of retaining wall so if you hear that means you are a civil engineer and if you are a civil engineer then don't forget to subscribe to our channel this is a channel for a civil engineer and your support will give us inspiration for the next work so um, and uh, also if you want to see our previous video the link is given in description you can uh, watch it from there and from here uh, first of all you have to uh, open URW I mean quick retaining wall so in our past two video I have shown you about cantilever wall then restraint wall and in this video I'm going to show you about that the gravity wall how will design the gravity wall so to design that and if you want to learn about the two design you can watch from our playlist that given are in description then click here then you can uh, modify the name okay so gravity wall you can press okay just see here this is our gravity wall and the main benefit of that software is you will see everything on your eyes okay you will see everything on your eyes and here you will see the I mean here you will see the result and when you will I mean ev at every step I mean at every step you will see your work result so first of all this is our gravity wall now first of all we'll go here criteria from here we'll select our code okay so you can select any code from here and uh, must read the criteria I mean here and given that everything before your work so from here uh, I'm just uh, doing everything in same videos so that's why I'm not going to do that just uh, click here and change that just click here and change that according to department after that assumption from here you can I mean um, you, you can read that from here okay so you can read that from here uh, and what is required you can select and what is not then you can remove it from here okay and after use vertical column if you select that by clicking here you can select that like that so I will not do anything here and because in our some video I have to show you about that how, what is its work and from here you can read everything every details are given here and I think it will be very easy to you so stability criteria what is the uh, record factor of safety over turning 1.5 you are considering 1.5 you can give here uh, according to requirement from here and then a record factor of safety for sliding you can also give here then has different safety factor for seismic if if they have uh, if you want to design for uh, seismic load then you can click here and give here for it and then here allowable bearing pressure what is the allowable bearing pressure of your soil uh, you, you can change it from here so I'm giving it like it and required bearing location here you can select the required bearing pa uh, location where the location will work okay then geometrical so uh, wall frictional angle here is the wall frictional angle and is the, the friction coefficient and here is the soil reaction modulus so you can change it from here now we'll go the next one load so from here we'll select load actually what is the load of retaining wall the main load is the soil load okay soil soil load or the, the that soil materials load so we'll do it now first of all the backfill okay for a backfill what is the backfill backfill is from that point to that point I mean from that soil level to that soil level it, this is known as backfill okay and it's also can be a dam suppose you are uh, you are designing for a dam that's then it's also can be a uh, dam work okay so after that what is the backfill depth they are given six feet if you if we can I increase or decrease the suppose um, you need to backfill 10 feet then you can give it here it's 10 feet after that uh, measure from from where Ho from where you will measure the backfill here the from lower grade a footing top or footing bottom from where you want to 
calculate that so you can select that suppose if you select that from a footing top then from that point to that point it's 10 feet and if you select for footing bottom then from that point to that point it's 10 feet like that so i'll consider from our soil height is 10 feet i mean uh, we'll um we'll use backfill for 10 feet soil so lower that here from that point to that point now slope what is the slope of our that uh, backfill what is the its slope is zero if you can give it the slope suppose i will give 20 degree slope here just see here there is a 20 degree slope the soil has 20 degree slope of and when we have provided 20 degree slope it's showing the sliding failed our stability for stability sake are sliding are being say failed after that mm, if we go here slope here uh, 20 degree okay unit weight here 100 pounds you can also change that it's unit weight and then analysis that at which analysis that you will use a rakhine active okay for rakhine you will use rakhine active pressure after the frictional angle and coefficient you can give it value then has water in backfill if you have water in backfill i mean in that side suppose it has water in backfill so if there have water you can also use that water water level okay so i'm not going to use water in backfill after that passive pressure okay that is for active pressure and now that is for passive i mean that side for that side so for that side uh, you can also use rakhine or frictional angle here what is the frictional angle of that side soil mm, and uh, coefficient what is the coefficient c and unit weight gamma you can do it now you can also apply apply only to key okay you can apply uh, the key here then here soil depth to ignore what is the soil depth uh, to ignore after that uh, star stars if you have any star stars here you can also give it here uh, yes, suppose you have a um, pressure so you can give it here uh, and you can change the value here and if you also have added depth some additional uh, two fill backfill you can give an additional two feet backfill you can also give it value so i will give her none also if you give her the backfill like that so i'll give it uh, okay then search line if you have any line load you can also in previous video have shown you that so after that uniform lateral load uniform lateral load here so uh, you can also give here the lateral load like that way so if you if you need to do that uh, and i'm not giving that okay so uh, you can add it or if you think that that is not record then you can reduce that i mean uh, uncheck that then stream exhale load suppose if if you have a load on the top of its retaining wall then you can add here load like that so i will not give any load and if you have seismic load we can also add it okay so it is done now suppose uh, if you record more load to add so you can also add from here okay so it's done after that i will go here footing so here we are seeing that our stability for our stability check it's failing for our stability stability check only so in our previous two video i have shown you that stability check means in sliding it's failing in sliding and i mean when um, for that soil pressure it will move in that direction in that direction so how to reduce that just simply we can increase its base size suppose if we increase the footing geometry uh the hill length this is the hill and this is the toy sorry so uh here now uh, footing so if we increase the hill length i mean if we use three feet so here here is the hill the uh, hill length and if we increase the toy length three also and uh, it's not okay also so if we give her four four feet <coughs> then um for hill check its moment is not okay and for that side it's also if we four feet 
this also not okay just uh, when we'll increase that it will I mean we'll, uh, we'll, we'll increase that it may make our that structure very costly so how we'll reduce that just we'll give it and also if we reduce the footing thickness what will be if we use 18 in what happens see that just uh, no health check and everything is not okay at now so if we'll reduce like previous two feet and now see that the health check is okay and for two feet our toy stick is also okay so we can reduce our that thickness and now uh, if we, if we see that uh, the hill reinforcement if we provide reinforcement in hill then uh, we can also provide reinforcement and also if we want that we will not use any reinforcement that is also okay okay so I think it's better to use reinforcement so that mm, this I mean when we will we'll provide reinforcement here then it will be very stable okay so here uh, the reinforcement ratio is not okay so for hill reinforcement uh, for hill reinforcement uh, if we use number four bar and here a spacing is 10 inch and also if we provide reinforcement in a uh, toy then here now see that everything is okay and if we reduce the size and also we can now provide its 12 inch so like that uh, we provided that and here if you want to provide any uh, I mean the transverse reinforcement also if you provide its uh, 4 then it's also okay now just only one issue here uh, and one thing I'll do uh, we're seeing that our bottom size bottom health size is 10 feet so the uh, bottom uh, stream size is 10, 10 feet and uh, the upper is 2 feet so this is the very 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 uneconomical so how will uh, change that so for our that load um, for that we'll go here e stream before that I will uh, use a uh, key here if we provide key just see here a sliding is okay and here what is the key depth I will consider one fit and here also 12 in seven on fit if we provide on fit and on fit then our sliding is okay now we'll go for our that section okay so for each stream here uh, here is the what is the here is the height so here is the multiple section or a uh, single section it's single section then from here what is from geometry okay uh, from geometry uh, here for geometry it's showing 14 inch and in bottom it's have uh, 24 inch and extra thickness in toy 24 inch and 48 uh, inch so I will if I increase that if I give it 18 inch let's see what I mean it's also okay um, and if I give here uh, 12 inch just see what happen it's also okay and if I give here 12 inch just and now it's not okay for that value it's not okay uh, overturning it's failing in overturning and sliding so uh, for to reduce the overturning now if we increase its value 18 inch it's okay now for overturning and if we do it for 18 inch so um, it's not okay also so and uh, if we increase the key size so just uh, footing and here if we increase the depth of footing okay see if we increase one point five I mean 18 inch now see that our design is okay so in that way in that way we can design a gravity retaining wall okay. gravity retaining wall we can design that gravity retaining wall in this way within a minute by using that simple tool 
I think as engineer we should use that simple tool and uh, we can take instant decision uh, for um, different types of work and here is the reinforcement category and suppose you if you want that I will give you a reinforcement also if you go here and select that uh, reinforcement flag general reinforcement layer layout if you want to give here reinforcement then um, here it is given unreinforcement actually the um, for the gravity wall it's work for its load it's work for its load I mean it's product the every load because of its load if you you can use reinforcement or if uh, you can also uh, done it without reinforcement so if I use here single reinforcement okay so for single reinforcement uh, it's providing single reinforcement here the horizontal bar ratio is not okay so just and uh, here um, for single reinforcement then if we give here lab dual it's not okay see if we use double it's also not okay it's showing horizontal bar ratio horizontal bar ratio is not okay so we'll uh, come here the horizontal bar see if we give number six bar and if we number if we use number seven bar and also if we number eight bar number nine bar and at for number nine bar it's okay okay so if we provide number five bar and also if we give spacing it's six inch spacing then uh, if we provide number six bar then it's okay so in this way you can use a reinforcement or you can reduce the reinforcement that anything you require or anything uh, you need here you can use that okay so if you think that the bar development at top you can use that or uh, for bar development at top and use that has lateral support resistant wall you can also select that or here and also bar development and material property different uh, from the footing so like that way you can uh, design a uh, I mean a gravity retaining wall that will give you the extra facility by using that software and if you want to buy or if you want to get that software uh, for trial version so if you need need a video for it I can uh, make a video for that that how will get that software and also uh, you can uh, use that software as a professional work so um, in this tutorial series I am going to finish that uh, that tutorial series from uh, in today so if you think that this full tutorial series have helpful for you then don't forget to subscribe to our channel and if you have any suggestion just give me a comment and also if you have any complaint also you should know me and as you hear that means that is helpful for you so press the like button and share that video as much as possible with your engineer friend and subscribe to our channel still stay connected till next video i'll come next with another new interesting tutorial series so thank you thank you very much